flying cars, household robots, manned missions to planet Mars. The future would be exciting. That's what I thought as a school kid in the 1980s when our teacher asked us to write an essay about the year 2000. And of course, these weren't just my own creative imagination, but common visions that kept appearing in pop culture. The future didn't turn out quite as I imagined. So I'm not commuting to work in a flying car. I'm not having my meal in a single pill. And, and we haven't made it to Mars yet. But the old predictions weren't too far off either. So uh, we have video calls, we pay without cash, and we carry tiny computers in our pockets. This is a good reminder that technology often seems to be something we, whose impact we overestimate in the short run, but fail to see how much it will actually and how deeply it will impact us in the long run. It's especially good to keep in mind now that we are standing ahead of the artificial intelligence revolution. I dare say this, by 2040, the way we live and work will be quite different from today. We're already beginning to grasp the impact of AI in society, industry, and everyday life. So let me give you an example. In hospitals, AI can already detect cancerous cells better than uh, radiologists. In media companies, AI creates uh, articles, news, visuals, and in customer service, it has been forecasted that 80% of customer interactions will be done handled by AI by the end of this year. So if this sounds uh, transformative, just think uh, how revolutionary the next step will be when AI agents enter the picture. So what are AI agents? They are active, independent AI systems that uh, take, carry out tasks on their own. Unlike traditional models, they have access to a wide variety and selection of tools and skills and systems, which means that they can uh, do complex tasks on their own without minimal human intervention. Think of them like uh, digital employees. You give them a task and they just get on with it. But unlike human workers, AI agents never get tired, never feel hungry, never lose focus. They're available 24 seven. So let me imagine this for the future. Your personal AI assistant has already woken up before you're still sleeping. It has planned your day. It, it knows your calendar, it has checked the traffic, it has uh, checked the weather, it knows when you need to leave. Uh, everything is prepared. Your coffee is brewing because it knows your routine. So the AI agents won't only assist us, they will already anticipate our next move, making uh, life easier and smoother and more efficient. And in workplaces, they're able to team up, collaborate with us and independently by themselves. So you, one, one could almost say that they are the next evolutionary step in, in a long chain of labor of people and uh, animals, humans, machines and uh, tools. So if, if AI agents are so much better in many ways than human workers. It, it's inevitable that lots, lots of much of today's work will shift to them. This may sound dramatic, and it is, but if we look at the history, uh, it isn't the first time. Just think of the big cities of the early 20th century when horses used to be vital central to, to urban transportation. Horses used to employ a lot of uh, people. They were saddle makers and, and uh, wagon 
uh, smiths. Uh, but then when cars came about, uh, they were all replaced by, by car mechanics and uh, gas station attendants and even traffic police. So it's a great example of how technology won't only eliminate jobs, but it also transform and for, transforms entire industries. IMF has estimated that 40% of jobs globally will be impacted by AI. And in developed economies, such as ours, the figure is even higher. It's 60%. So what should we do? First of all, I believe we need to be bold. So the change is already there. It, we cannot stop it. So we should embrace it, take an active role, and uh, learn new skills. Even people who have recently went to, gone to college should learn those new skills, because it's new for everybody. These, uh, especially the, the large language models, are new for all of us. But in many professions, also, AI will actually help make people better. Take doctors, for example. So um, AI can shift through patient records and um, research studies, clinical studies, and uh, create real-time insights for doctors, which actually allows them to focus on what they do the best, which is talking to patients and uh, making tough calls and creating individualized treatment uh, for everybody. So, we should be bold, but boldness alone isn't enough. What happens if AI, we don't understand the premises of AI, if it isn't transparent? And, and most important question is, who is actually in charge or responsible for AI's decisions? So we should also stay critical. And um, important is that uh, AI doesn't have an innate sense of morality. AI is, has learned from data, our data, and from people that have labeled it, curated content, and built algorithms and fine-tuned them. So for better or worse, AI reflects us. And our ideas of right or wrong aren't the same. The MIT Moral Machine study has looked into this in great detail, and uh, they have found out that actually uh, um, there are big culture differences between uh, people's moral choices in the world. For example, if you, if you think of uh, um, self-driving cars, if an accident is unavoidable, should the car prioritize now uh, the passengers or the bystanders? And to be honest, most of us wouldn't want a car that wouldn't put its uh, passengers first. But if in the grander, bigger picture, there might be situations where it actually would make more sense uh, to put the bystanders first, the others. So, we, uh, we need to stay critical, and uh, we need to understand also the, uh, the ethics and moral frameworks. And most importantly, this shouldn't be left to individual companies or developers. And that's why these uh, frameworks such as the EU AI Act or um, the UNESCO AI Ethics Guidelines are steps in the right direction. So, I would like to encourage you be, to be bold, uh, to investigate uh, AI and machine learning, try out different tools, also AI agents. And if you work for a big organization, think big. Think what are those big challenges that you face as a company and where AI could help. And at the same time, stay critical, Remember that AI is only as good as the data it has learned from. 
And what comes to ethics, there is no one single answer. While my, my childhood dreams didn't come true, there is uh, one thing I've never had to really change my mind about, and that is the future is great and is exciting. So just remember that AI is a powerful tool. It isn't a magic fix. And we are in the driver's seat. If we keep on this mindset, there is a true chance to make the future work for individuals and all of humanity. Let's take that journey together. Thank you.